You guys are watching Sergio Secrets and today's video is going to be a fun one. Before I get started, if you can give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And everything that I will be talking about today will be linked down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Everything that I'm wearing on my face, to this top, and all my forms of social media will be linked down below as well. Other than that, let's, and let's get started with today's Sergio Secrets video. So today's video is going to be some of my best and worst luxury purchases. You know me, I'm a very good consumer when it comes to luxury purchases. For me, what I consider a luxury is contemporary and up. I'm going to be showing you some of my top five worst designer purchases and my five top best designer purchases. Well, I know you guys want to see the worst because who doesn't want to see the worst first? Did that rhyme? So I know you guys want to see the worst items first and then I'll go ahead and show you the ones that are more the the best purchases. I'm going to get started with the first. first item is going to be a pair of boots and these boots are beautiful guys. These boots are everything. Like if you know me personally, if you see my Instagram, which you should follow me, you know that I love boots. For whatever reason, sneakers and boots are my things. I don't really wear other things than that. But mainly, you'll if you were to catch me out in the streets, out and about, nine times out of ten, I will be in a boot. And when I saw these booties around Christmas time, I was like, I have to have these. Like, look at these boots. Are they are everything? You can see your boots when you work in the fashion industry. You see, you know, good quality and bad quality when it comes to items. Like the nice stitching right here. It has a really nice thick heel. It has this really pretty uh, metal plating that says rind and bone on it. It's a nice Chelsea boot, but it kind of stops, which is kind of weird because usually it goes a little bit higher. But it is a nice boot. Yes, I, the first thing I did was, actually, I think I was in the shower. UPS rang my door. I literally got out of the shower like in 30 seconds, and I was already trying these on within the 30 seconds. When I tried them on, this thing came off. So if you know me, I have a very wide foot, as most guys do. So this right here is the little tab on it. And it literally, guys, it literally broke. It literally broke, guys, like that. That is the first con. The second con to these shoes is that they hurt so much, guys. I've only worn these four times. I wore them four times that I wore them. I had to change my shoes within the hour. I had to change my shoes. Good thing for me, my car, I usually carry uh, like backup clothing in my trunk. I have like extra jeans, socks, shoes, I have tops. A little. I always have nicks and nacks in my car because I always like to constantly change it up or if something happens, I have a spare change of clothing in my car. And I had to change these out, guys. These are probably the most uncomfortable shoe that I've ever had, guys. You know, when people buy designer shoes, when people buy shoes in general, um, when they say, oh, those are so uncomfortable, I'm like, girl, you can walk in them. Like, you can literally walk in them. It's no biggie. You're making it too big deal. And I would always kind of brush it off. Now I understand when people say shoes are very uncomfortable. These were the most uncomfortable boots. I couldn't move around with, like, the leather tightening my foot. It was just very uncomfortable, guys. And I just love these so much. As you can see, like, they do have a little bit of wear on the soles just for those four times that I was wearing them. I should have returned them when this happened, but I really liked them a lot that I was like, you know what? It's okay. This happened and they're very uncomfortable. So out of all my designer shoes that I've ever bought money on, these are gonna be the worst purchase just because they're so uncomfortable and this little tab ripped literally the first time that I was wearing them. So these are gonna be my number one as far as worst. Same thing is a wallet. And this wallet right here is from Burberry. It's a nice, pretty continental wallet. It is in the black smooth leather with the Burberry logo embossed. You can see it's really beautiful. But when you open it, you get this pretty kind of lilac-y type pinky. So as you can, and it's with the silver hardware. And then when you open up, it has a little zipper right here, a little Nova check on it, the iconic Burberry print. And when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I always want, a, I'm always in the market for a wallet. I always need a wallet and why, why not? Why should I not, not buy you? So I loved it for the first 48 hours. Get it, first 48, I love watching first 48. I bought it for the first 48 hours, guys. And then, uh, and then I kind of felt out of love with it so quick. I did show it to my mom. My mom did actually really like this wallet, which after this video, I think I'm gonna give her this wallet just because I'm personally, it's just gonna collect dust in my collection. I would probably use it maybe like once every year. And the reason why this didn't work out for me is just because it's very, um, I have other wallets that I love. I know I was saying that I'm always changing up my wallet, 
that this wallet is very impractical. I don't really carry a lot of stuff in my wallet, guys. Like, usually I have this Balenciaga zip um, wallet that's really nice. It's a little bit smaller than this, and it's a perfect it's a perfect wallet. It's like in a kind of like of a grayish color. But recently I've been really into card holders, so now I have two card holders. I actually I'm gonna show them to you right now. Balenciaga wallet that I use quite a lot, and as you can see, um, it's a little bit smaller. It's a lot more thinner, and it's more convenient for my day to day life when I carry a bigger bag. Um, recently I've been really into smaller bags, and I have this YSL card holder right here. So just bought this Chanel one, maybe like in the early January time in the lambskin leather so I have three other and this one doesn't really excite me guys maybe it's just because I'm younger I'm 19 and maybe this particular item is probably more for a different demographic customer just doesn't do it for me guys I think it's very boring I just feel like it's meh like I just I don't know it doesn't excite me like when I have my Balenciaga wallet that doesn't have like a logo or anything on it it excites me. I love this color. I love the hardware on it. I think it's beautiful. I, I just love this Balenciaga wallet so much. And these little card coders really excite me when I use them. When I pay with my, you know, with this wallet, it just doesn't do anything to me. It just doesn't, it's just, for me, this is just a regular wallet to me. And when you're spending a lot of money on designer items, it should have meaning towards them. Or it should be, or you should be really excited to use them. When I think of this, this does not excite me at all. It's gonna be one of my worst purchases just because I don't reach for it. It's not getting the use that it deserves or use that it should get. And I just think that I just impulsively bought this wall. One, it's going to, it's going to be an item from MCM. So I'm gonna open it and. You can probably maybe tell what it is, guys. So I do have other MCM items that I do incorporate into my everyday life that I really enjoy. But this one right here is a MCM belt. When I bought this belt, I was thinking, oh my god, it's cute, it's nice. Um, I wanted to buy a designer belt or a contemporary belt. Actually, I do consider MCM more contemporary than designer. But when I wanted to add a, this belt right here, I really wanted to get a more upscale belt. All my belts are like $20 to $40 belts from like ASO. And I was like, you know what? I don't, you know, I would just invest a little bit of money into this belt. And I think I'm going to wear it. I loved it for the first time that I started wearing it. It is a reversible, so it has the MCM monogram on it. And then you can reverse it to the black. So it's like really convenient, it's really nice. It's because I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's white and it's been getting really dirty and it has a lot of color transfer and I've only worn this maybe, I can't count how many times I've worn this in my hand. Like I think I've only worn this maybe four times at most. And like I said, when it matches my aesthetic, it doesn't match who I am. And I'd much rather wear my $20 ASO belts. Like I have this belt from ASOS that I've replaced three times in the in the last four or five years because I love that belt so much and I have so much pride and I really love to use it. It's $20 and it fulfills my need, it gets the job done, and I get tons of compliments on it. But when I wear this, I get a lot of um, certain energies that I don't want in my life, my aesthetic, and it doesn't match me. And I think I just bought this impulsively just because I wanted a designer belt or a contemporary belt. It's just not for me. And it's been collecting dust for almost about a year. I don't know what to do with it, guys. It already has damage on it. But well, this is why this item does not work out for me. The fourth item that I'll be talking about today are going to be a pair of sunglasses. Now, this is something that I, you know, I can admit that I did buy these to follow a trend of Dior So Real sunglasses. Um, there's a mirror right here, so that's what I'm going to be looking at right now. Um, I do really like it's really good and it really flatters my face. I just don't like the combination that I picked at it. I got these on sale. These glasses retail for about $500. I got them for a pretty good deal at a department store and I was like, you know what? I always kind of wanted these glasses and why not buy them? They're such a good price that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. Yes, I do like the aesthetic of it and I do like the fit of the glass. I think it really flatters my face shape quite a lot. I just don't like the color combination. I don't like this little tortoisey kind of blue and purple. I don't like this kind of rose gold lens on it. I just feel like it, it kind of washes my face out, this rose gold, with kind of like my bronzy skin complexion. Glasses in my collection that I'd rather reach for a million times more than these glasses. And that's why these are going to be on my worst list, just because I bought these impulse. Um, the fourth one is going to be the Dior So Real sunglasses. Next item is going to be an item that is going to be the Burberry shirt. So this Burberry shirt, 
It has a little bit of a story. I'm gonna talk about it for like five seconds. I got a promotion, some sort of a promotion. And literally after that little meeting, I went and I bought this and I bought a pair of Valentino sandals. Felt like I should be spending money and I felt like I deserved something. So I just kind of bought this in a whim. I wasn't even um, expecting to buy like this right here. Because why, at the time I was like, why not? The reason why this shirt, I don't really like to use it and why it's a worst purchase is just because it's so loud, guys. When I wear this shirt, I feel like it's not me. Like, it doesn't match me. It doesn't match my aesthetic. I feel like it's too loud, guys. Like, I think this aesthetic, it doesn't match me. Like, I've literally tried to wear this shirt yesterday, and I just couldn't bring myself to walk out the door with it, guys. I just feel like you can only you can only use this shirt a, a few amount of times, like, without it already looking dated, without them being like, oh, like, he always wears that same Burberry shirt. Oh, like, that is so, like, he should buy more clothes. That's the only shirt he has. Maybe it's just, like in my mind but like this shirt right here right here is from some brand i always forget the name of it but i'll link it down below but it was around retail the same price as this burberry top but i can wear this top like for many years to come i can really enjoy it and if i get photographed in it i think because it's a it's just a simple silhouette i can get away with it versus something like this i can only wear this a few amount of times without people being like oh he's wearing that same burberry shirt it's real pictures in this or like in facebook or something and I feel like it's kind of dated, you know what I mean? Everybody already seen you wear this, and it's just like, I think, I think I just bought this too quickly, and I didn't realize that this item, you can only wear it a certain amount of times without it looking like you've worn it a million times. You know what I mean? Why this Burberry shirt did not work out for me. So now we're gonna be talking about my top five favorite purchases, or some of my top favorite purchases. If you guys wanna see more of my best and worst, or definitely let me know down below or if there's any certain video ideas that you guys have let me know because I would definitely love to film them so the next thing I'm going to be talking about are a pair of booties and these right here are a pair of Givenchy booties as you can see by the soles they've been very well loved like super super well loved now these um, I got these last Christmas around that time so the December of 2017 is when I got them and I've worn them non-stop guys like I've worn them non-stop like let, let's let's look at the let's look at the sole like how worn they have been going strong and these are probably one of my favorite purchases that I've ever made these are very sleek looking they're very um they're very edgy they look very exquisite they have like a little bit of scratches right here they have, they've worn in really nicely and you know, even though they, they do have scratches on the smooth leather, to be quite honest, I don't mind it. Like, I really like the look of them. I think the more that they look like they've been used, I think they, they've been aging really well, guys. Obsessed with them. Same day that I got them is the, and that excitement that I felt is the same excitement that I feel when I look at them. When I look at them, they just make me smile, guys. Like, these are probably one of my favorite designer shoes in my collection guys are just one of my shoes in general these Givenchy Chelsea boots are awesome and they actually have a pretty substantial weight to them but I don't mind it guys these Givenchy boots rock and I'm glad that I have these in my collection second item is going to be a Saint Laurent handbag and this is the Saint Laurent Kate bag in the um, grain leather with the silver hardware I'm not going to talk too too much about this because I definitely want to bring this uh, handbag back on my channel um, pretty soon but I got this around May of last year, and I've used it very consistently. I have a few designer handbags in my collection, which I'm very grateful and I'm very happy that I have. This is probably have been my most used bag of a little short on it, which makes the crossbody sit, sit up a little high. I'll actually try it on for you guys. I'm 5'11", but I'm pretty tall, but I like the way it sits up. I like the way that it's a shoulder bag. Like, I just love this bag, guys, so much. And it's the perfect size. You can fit a good amount of stuff in it. And like I said, I do plan on making more of a thorough review or talking about this bag more on my channel. But for the meantime, this has been very worn, very well loved. And as you can see, guys, I do have a little bit of scratching on the hardware. And that's completely my fault because it actually has no, like, really signs of... On the inside, it looks pretty good. And yeah, guys, I if you're looking for a Saint Laurent bag, especially in this grain leather, I recommend it so much. This, the wallet on chain, the card holders, anything that's this material, this grainy leather, I recommend it a million times. 
So this St. Laurent Kate bag, um, I'm very happy and I'm very glad that I have this. M is going to be this jacket right here. So I did want it to include another like ready to wear clothing piece, just like the Burberry shirt. I wanted to include one of my favorite ready to wear items. And this right here is a Montclair vest. This one's in a size four. I could have definitely went for a size two if I really wanted it to be super fitted or a size three for more of a regular fit. So it's a little oversized on me, just like a little bit, but I really like it, guys. At first, I was like, I think it's too shiny. I don't really like it, but when I look at it, I just smile, guys. Like, I just really like this Montclair vest. It has a little Montclair tag right here. It has the little details about the fill. I do like the percentage of fill that's on it. It has this little really cute little detail right here. Include this versus some of my other outerwear pieces. I have like two Burberry jackets. I have like Sandy Ling. I have Canada Goose. This one, I just love it, guys. I love that I can wear this with yoga leggings, a long sleeve shirt, this, wear like a nice sneaker, a designer handbag, and I'm out the door, ready to go. I love that I can wear a dress shirt with this and put this on and it just elevates it without having to wear like an actual like jacket without an actual blazer. I just love how very versatile you can make this. And I got it around Christmas time and I've used it so much. I get so many compliments, at least one, if I wear this for an entire day, I will at least get two compliments to include this Montclair jacket versus some other pieces that I have in my collection. The next item are gonna be a pair of sunglasses. And these right here are a pair of Chanel ones. They have a mirrored lens on them. They have the um, silver CCs on them. I just feel like they cut my eyes really well. I feel like they suit my face really well. I love the CC hardware when I'm walking. People see that I have them wearing Chanel glasses. I love the mirrored lens because they can't look into my eyes. I just really like them. They're they're not too, too much. Um, this is like, out of all my favorites that I'm mentioning right now, if I were to lose them today, I will go out and buy them the next day. So wearing these and these really fulfill my sunglass needs. And honestly, I have a lot of sunglasses in my collection throughout the years. And ever since I got these last year, around like March time, about a year ago, I, I still use them and I'm still very happy. I'm glad that I have these in my collection. And... I can't wait to get more wear out of these. These are my Chanel sunglasses. And my number one favorite item in my collection and the item that I will literally go out and repurchase if anything happens to this the very next day or that exact same day. And my best purchase that I've ever made as far as fashion is going to be this Chanel handbag. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video about, this is my Chanel Maxi Silver Hardware Single Flap. And I just love this so much, guys. This is my perfect everyday bag. It fits everything. I love the aesthetic of the bag. It goes with everything. It feels my needs. I get so many compliments on it. It's the perfect size because I'm 5'11". I'm about 150 pounds. So I feel like this kind of goes in with my height and my weight. Yeah, enough good things about this, guys. If you're wanting a Chanel bag, I've wanted this bag since I was six and eight i remember being in, in junior high and elementary being in the office talking to like the the ladies that worked in like um face and i would tell them like oh like when i'm older i re when i'm older i want a chanel bag i want it to be silver hardware i want it to be caviar leather i want it to be a flat bag like i remember telling them and for me when i bought this last year and around this was like a early, late birthday early christmas gift to myself and when I bought this, I was just like, I was speechless and I really took a moment and a step back to see that everything that I've accomplished so far in life and that uh, if you really want anything, you can really go for it, guys. Like, I know in the grand scheme of things, this is just a handbag. People would just walk by and see a handbag. But for me, this is everything. This is my dreams. Like, this is everything that I've worked hard for paid off when I bought this Chanel hand. I'm talking a lot, but I don't know. I just really love my Chanel handbag a lot. And that concludes my top five worst purchases, my top five good purchases. If you guys want to see certain videos on this channel, definitely let me know down below. I have so many items in my collection, so many knowledge. My name is called Sergio Secrets because I have a lot of secrets that I want to share with you guys. It's just because, just so we can spread more knowledge and more power to everybody. And thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and everything that I'll be talking about, everything that I talked about today will be linked down below on my channel, guys. Bye.